Hey, hey, and welcome back to Drifters in Emergency Power. Uh, this is part two of Max Relax, so just lean back, grab your snacks, lift your drinks, and uh, let's, let's just drift through some humongous demos. Uh, so, can we load up the first one? Woo! Hey, it's Putt-Putt again. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt! I'm back again in a brand new adventure! Some of the baby animals are missing from the new Car Town Zoo! And we need to help find them! I can't show you the whole zoo yet, because this is only the demo. So let's go see if we can rescue Kenya the Lion Cub. Come on, I'm ready to go. All right. So like I said earlier, um, or like I said in yesterday's episode, uh, despite it being a demo, I am really surprised wow. at how much detail that they chose that to put river in this, like, that they chose to showcase in these little demos. Still got full clickability. Um. It says jungle dog. Yeah, so unlike the, unlike that Balloonorama thing, um, a lot of humongous titles have a focus on learning something, so it's like, uh, reading, or nature, or just generic, uh, just general, um, just entertainment, silliness, distraction kind of thing. Uh, but I have no idea what the Balloonorama was trying to, I guess it was just an arcade thing to just be pure distraction and fun using putt-putt uh, material. So we start out with a couple of items. That's a rope. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, the raft because that's how you fix a raft. Hey. <laughs> okay. That is terrifying. Ooh. Um, so yeah, the only reason why I actually have these um, these little CDs and the Pup Pug Goes to the Moon game is because uh, once upon a time, my dad actually worked uh, very close to a lot of um, software companies and things like that. So we'd go to these little conventions that they'd have. And at these conventions, they'd have these like bins where uh, just full of these like free demos. So we've got um, Aladdin, we've got um, a Lion King demo, and then a bunch of other little CDs that have like 50 games that you can play, and you know, it was all real. I wonder where the kid could have run off to. Whoa. Cool. Uh. Yo, what's up? Excuse Yo. me, is this where Zanzibar lives? Yeah, it is, but he ain't here. He got lost somehow. Maybe I can find Zanzibar. <laughs> he just got oh, lost you somehow. Could. I'd really owe you big time. Well, I, I guess it is a kid, and they do sure have a tendency to I just can. wander off. That's a tongue, but, but I'm counting on you. <laughs> so my dad brought back. Um, a bunch of these little games to just kind of keep me occupied because at the time I was four, maybe five years old. So this is like the perfect um, age window. 
I can't shoot the rapids in the demo. <laughs> I do like how they tell you where you're limited, though, so it's not, um... So they don't just, like, take it off entirely, though. So it does leave some mystery where it's like, oh, man, but I wonder what's in down the rapids. So maybe I should buy the full game and actually get to explore that later. In the real game, we learn all about hippos here. Yeah, see, so this game would be more focused on nature and things like that. get there without like breaking an ankle. I can't win. Whoa, graphics well, issues. Going to have to figure out another way to help you. Oh, you don't know how happy that would make me. Hmm. All right, so somehow we got to get up to that little line. So, um, of the full games, I really only have Putt Putt Goes to the Moon and um, another title uh, called Freddy Fish and the Kelp Mystery or something like that. Whoa, it's a baby seal! No, oh, he's so cute. Except he looked like he was hiding from something. So depressing. It's Kenya. <laughs> of course it's me. Can you help me out? I hope so. Oh, uh, I can't quite reach. Sorry. It looks like I'm going to need something else to help you up from that rock. Well, I hope you find it soon. Me too. Hmm, well, the only other thing the game really gives me... Maybe this will do the trick. Yes! Good. You made it! I sure did. Thanks for saving me. Say, I didn't catch your name. Putt Putt. Thanks, Putt Putt. You're welcome. Bye, Kenya. Hot diggity. She was really cool through that in, that entire in like game, situation. All the baby I think if I was a kid I in that same situation, I'd be now. freaking out. I'd be crying. I'd be like, I don't want to fall off. <laughs> okay, cool. So uh, while we get the next one loaded, I also wanted to mention that. Um, the reason why I bring up my dad and him bringing all these things to me is because I was having a conversation with him earlier about these these humongous titles, and um, he you know he was just kind of commenting on how they um, not a lot of people really know about these titles anymore, and I was just like, well, yeah, I mean it's you know it was the '90s when these things were out and about, so not a lot of people in 2018 are gonna really know about that um but he was just like yeah you know i mean i really like them even back then because you know they're really well animated and i agree 
and I even I even put forward that they had you know they had a ton of detail like the um, just the things that you can click on and then the educational information that they had uh, I mean granted there's only so much you can do with that medium before you either run out of subject material or you run out of educational material that's available to children and so next up what's next on the humongous entertainment lineup oh oh hey i was just talking about this thanks for getting the flowers sam <laughs> sure thing freddy they're wonderful gotta go oh, that sam. pelican has a oh, lot bye, freddy. of emotion and detail Whoa. in its eyelashes Don't tell, uh, don't tell 101 Dalmatians or the Great Mouse Detective about their, about their fonts being used elsewhere. Alright, so this is Freddy Fish and the, um, mysterious case of the missing kelp seeds. Uh, I do have the full version of this, but I do want to also show just how much effort that they put into their just for their demo which would make sense because you'd want people to see hit. oh <laughs> I thought that was an interactive item it's a collectible item because um, it does make sense that a demo would put a bunch of detail inside so that you know they can showcase just how much the full game would have Nice. What? Oh. <laughs> is that an undersea chicken? Gabby, mommy's coming. Oh. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Also, the voice acting is actually really good Hell as far as like certain way. characters go. This pur this purple lady Help fish, me. purple fish. Um, I think she Help has a me. really good voice actor. <laughs> Might be a little campy oh. at certain times, but oh. Oh. really emotional when it comes through. I'm giving it all I got, Captain. Oh. Also, I'm not sure, but Luther's voice sounds Sorry, Luther. really familiar to me, and I can't place it right now. Gabby, my little guppy is stuck inside that cave, but I can't fit inside. Could you please find him? Yes, Mrs. Halibut. We'll help Gabby. Halibut? Guppy must be a pet name, because a guppy does not turn into a halibut. Uh, oh, dang, I forgot. So when she had her head stuck in here, the one thing that I wanted to show and I forgot was that if I come back to this um, frame, it actually does show her sprite stuck in that rock side. I mean, you can kind of get a small taste of it when she was closer to the hole and kind of looking in. Now she's backed away and just kind of like apprehensively waiting for us to do something about her problem. And we're not allowed to move forward, so we move upward. Gabby's not here, but I'm sure we'll find him if we keep looking. Cool. Uh -huh. It's a bone match. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let's just, uh. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Take that. Uh, is there anything else in Ah! Ah! Sand shark! Kill it! Kill it with fire! Wait. 
fire wouldn't work on that sand shark. Freddy, Luther, I'm stuck under this rock. Please help me. I'm stuck. What are we going to do? Don't worry, Gabby. We have something to We're just to gonna sit go here. That's what we're gonna do, little purple dude. Look at that little purple guy. Such a bra. <laughs> you call that a stick? Boy, this is a stick. But first, I want this. Bam! What a beautiful shell! That fish, this Freddy, is quite an athlete. Boy, this Luther, is a stick. <laughs> Yay! Freeze frame! Mommy! Gabby! My Guppy! Thank you both! You're welcome, Mrs. Holliday! Also, is Gabby a, a unisex name? Or is it like 90% female? Because that makes me think that that, that, that quote unquote Guppy is a skater chick. And that's it! Uh, the demo just closes out and forces you back to a menu screen. So, um, yeah, I hope, I know it wasn't exciting, but I hope it was at least relaxing to kind of just sit back, um, share a few stories, and uh, just wait till normality returns. Um, speaking of which, that should happen in tomorrow's episodes. So we'll have um, Braveheart back here in the guest position and we'll see what kind of game that we have for that. Uh, even I don't know. So um, thanks for thanks for coming around and relaxing and uh, I hope I didn't scare anyone off with just this kind of relaxation episode or the two relaxation episodes. So um, yeah, come on back and we'll uh, we'll get your blood pumping again. Bye.